Now, I want you to look at um, something here. And this is where uh, hii nyazi nani anafana anauzanga nyazi hapa? Nani anauza nyazi anauzia watu Boma Roads nini hey? Nauza kidogo. Hata kama hujaniambia sijawaambia nataka ujisikize na msikize wote. Unaona nyazi hii ikiwa hivi. Unaona hii nyazi? Ngombe akikula hii nyazi hii na ashibe. Na ngombe akula nyazi ambayo iko this hii stage. Unaona hii stage? Unaona hii nyazi? Ambayo imefanya flowering. Ngombe ashibe hii nyazi. Na ngombe mwingine ashibe hii nyazi. Hawa ngombe hawajakula the same nyazi. They have eaten totally different grass. This this grass will give you more production. This is a tasseling stage. It will give you more Though this is the same boma roads this one has turned into wood yeah. <laughs> unaona na unyazi yote ambayo utakutana nayo kama hii yeah. ujue unanunua ku kuni, kuni. <laughs> nyazi ya ngombe inafaa kuharvestiwa ikiwa tasseling stage oh, yeah. at this stage Energy is very high. Protein is very high. Minerals in it are available. Trace elements are also available. And the fiber is good quality fiber. This one, the energy, the protein, the minerals, the trace elements have been locked up by something called lignin. Lignin ni ile kitu ambacho inafanya hii nyazi inakuwa miti. Unaelewa? Hii kitu ambayo inafanya hii nyazi ikuwe ngumu na miti inaitwa lignin na katika nutrition it, it is an antinutritive factor. Hiyo lignin ina lock up energy, ina lock up protein, ina lock up minerals, ina lock up trace elements at the rate of 1% every day. It makes energy protein and minerals unavailable not available at the rate of 1% every day. Kama ungeharvest hii nyazi leo uchelewe uiharvest kesho wakati ilikuwa imefika the right time to harvest digestibility in a drop by 1%. Uki harvest 30 days later na we harvest wakati imekuwa na vichwa hivi digestibility itakuwa ime drop na 30% ngombe akikula cow dung output yake itakuwa imekwenda juu na 30%. Nutrients and availability itakuwa ime drop na 30%. Utakuta kwamba there is more fiber in the cow dung than there will be fiber in the cow dung of this one. Tunaelewana? Now, why are we saying we are feeding grass we are feeding hay and all this and yet we are not getting minerals this is because the energy is locked in fiber that is overgrown unaelewana mtu afadhali auze napier grass next time uza napier he uka uza grass lakini harvest it in good time sell it at a premium pra- price price lakini most of the hay you find in the market is wood it would feel but you will find a lot of fiber a lot of wood in the cow dung because the cow could not access it now how do you unlock it how do you break the antinutritive factor assist your animal to digest that 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 that, that hay wood. that wood mm. by first of all creating a false rumen outside the rumen of a cow turn that hay into silage turn that napier grass into silage turn the dry maize stovers into silage try the straws into silage microbes will break it down by the time ngombe anakula ataikula yote na itakuwa imesiagika tayari ngombe anamalizia tu 
Sasa ngombe atachukua muda mrefu aki extract nutrients. Na utakuta itaendelea kukupea proda, production. That is why mkulima ambaye anafuga sasa lazima utengeneze kitu kinaitwa nini? Silage. FTC a uh, baringo uh, uh, sabatia dairy siju wapi always try to bring farmers teach them how to make sa- silage don't just make silage out of straws don't just make silage out of napier don't just make silage out of um, uh, dry maize stovers make silage also for dairy meal maize jam wheat bran and all that you get it if you want to create wealth through dairy or beef take what i'm telling you seriously <laughs>